Let's talk about scaling. scaling. That was weird, right? Scaling your business is about a lot more than just pushing up your Facebook ads. There's a lot that goes into it. So let me tell you everything that you need to know and what I've learned by helping half a dozen businesses get to eight, nine figures and to exit in the last five years. This is going to be fun. Welcome back to 5-Minute Friday. Let's get into it. So let's talk about scaling your Facebook ad account. Now, before I go into just showing you how to add more budget in a sustainable way to massively grow your business, also understand that really it's about managing a blended CPA. And one of the easiest ways to do this before you even touch your Facebook ad account is add budget to Google add budget to Amazon, send more emails, get more transactions with the money you're already spending. And if there are places more efficient than Facebook, you should be spending more money there before you touch your Facebook budgets. Also, let's keep in mind the customer journey and the value of the customers you have. It's not just about increasing AOV or getting the lowest CPA. Understand which offers you're promoting are the best for you. Stop spending money in the places that don't work nearly as hard for you. If you're spending money on 12 different campaigns, odds are at least 9 or 10 of them are a complete liability. And the easiest way to get more bang for your buck and scale your results while potentially even spending less is to just put your money where it actually does the most work. Now, let's assume you've already figured out how to consolidate your ad account and you want to start actually scaling the volume of results you get and adding budget. So now let's talk about the two most common ways of scaling budgets. This is vertical versus horizontal. The first one of these is just vertical scaling, which is the most straightforward. Just add more budget to what's already working. And really there are two primary strategies here, either surf scaling or sustainable scaling. Surf scaling can give you quick, dramatic spikes in daily spend and performance, but these results are temporary. You're riding the wave, but the wave crashes. On the other hand, sustainable growth focuses on steady, consistent improvements. Instead of focusing on spiking your budgets every single day when things are good and having to rebuild your ad account every single week and having to start over, over and over again, you can instead have slow, consistent growth that allows you to tap into compounding interest, which is the single most powerful force in the universe. Now we're gonna break down that math here in just a second, but I also wanna tell you that there's another way of scaling your account, which is horizontal scaling. And this is simply just adding more campaigns. And the upside is you immediately get a huge lift in your spend because you just added budget to something new. The downside here is that this will dilute your data. More campaigns can make Facebook's algorithm less effective and your results less consistent. All right, so let's have a little fun with math for a second. Now let's say you're surfing your budget and on good days you go from 50 to 1,000, but you have to start over, over and over again. And at the end of the month, you average say 200 bucks a day. If instead you chose to just raise your budget by 5.5% every single day, at the end of 30 days, you'd be spending 250 every single day and you wouldn't have to rebuild along the way. Not only does this save time, but this gives you a consistent amount of growth. In fact, if you just add 5% three times a week, you could double your budget every month. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a 3,700% growth every single year. If you're surfing your budget, it's almost impossible to get any one day to be nearly as good as every day could be if you were focused more on sustainable growth. The other thing about sustainable scaling is not only does it save you a lot of time, but it makes cash flow and inventory management exponentially easier. Plus, just it's a lot less heartache and work and stress. You could do this on a couple hours a week instead of day trading every single day. So let's touch base on that horizontal scaling because you should not be just adding more campaigns for no reason, but that doesn't mean the horizontal scaling is always bad. If you decide to go with horizontal scaling, every single campaign should have a specific business objective. For instance, you might have your one campaign hero offer designed to get you the most amount of people who will spend money with you at least twice. You could also have a catalog campaign designed to get you the most amount of people to buy today and a rebuttal upsell offer campaign designed to get you the people that are likely to spend the most amount of money. Those three simple campaigns could scale independently based on whatever your business needs are and is exponentially easier to manage than 12 different moving parts that are all competing with each other. 
Scaling a Facebook ad account is about way more than just adding more budget. Whether you're using vertical scaling, horizontal scaling, or just optimizing your customer journey and media mix, the goal should be to scale efficiently and sustainably. With the right approach, you'll see compounding gains that keep building over time without the need to take short-term risky actions that are super stressful, completely unsustainable, and ultimately force you to work exponentially harder than you need to to make a lot less money. All right, well, that's it for this 5-Minute Friday, and until next time, I'll see you on the internet.